Hello class, and welcome to exercise 10 of the Geographer's Craft at the University of Texas as at Austin, Department of Geography and the Environment. And what we're going to be using today is a geostatistical tool known as Kriegen. Um, and what this does is this is a part of Tobler's, Waldo Tobler's um, first law of geography. And that states that everything is related to everything else but near things are more related than distant things. So it sounds really similar, but it makes sense is that if you have, say, elevation and you have one area, that area is most likely to have more similar elevation than a place that's further away. So things that are closer are, are going to be more related than distant things, and that can um, uh, have lots of different values that, that holds true to. Elevation is just one of those. Okay, so in today's class, what we're going to be doing is using Krieging um, for Waldo Tobler's first law of geography. And what Krieging is, is an interpolation technique that assigns values to unknowns based on weighted measured values. It's pretty much a optimal prediction. So even if we don't have all the points in an area, um, we can still predict what some of the, the values would, will be just on having some of the values. So it's an optimal prediction, okay? So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at a bunch of points and you're going to tell me um, where you think they are, what they mean, and also are they Tobler-like? So are the ones that are closer together similar? Um, I want you to try and find the, the pattern here, okay? So you're going to do this in class um, on your own, uh, what you're going to turn in is at the bottom here. You're not going to turn in a map. You're going to turn in a 500 word write up, double space times New Roman. I'm going to check on the word count. So um, I don't care how many pages it is, but I am going to check the word count. So it's going to be 500 word write up, and you're going to tell me how um, you got, um, or how you found out each of these points, what they mean, and where you think they are. Okay? So, um, there's not too much in this lab that I'm going to teach you here, but I do want to walk you through a couple of the important parts of this lab just because they are things we haven't done before. Okay? So, what you got to do right here is you have to download those points, right? So, this is points A, B, C, and D. Okay? So, let's put them all on here. And um, I am in the process of possibly changing some of these points. So if your points don't look exactly like this, don't worry about it. Um, you're still gonna be doing the same um, same directions, all this. All I'm doing right here is I'm just giving you a little visual element here of um, what you're, you're gonna be doing, okay? So I if yours don't look the same, it's okay. Um, all we're doing right now is just going over um, how we're doing this lab, okay? Some of these steps, okay? So as I take these off, just a couple of things you can do is you're going to go to the open the attribute table and on this one here for points A on these ones right here there's not a lot these are the values okay so here are all the points right here and these are all of the values so there's a couple of things you can do you can make these go from highest to, to smallest but it's just a good idea to look at all these values and maybe right away you can say uh, maybe those are elevation maybe those are um, precipitation maybe those are zip codes, maybe they are population numbers, but if you look at them right away, you can kind of get an idea, right? So these are, right here, these are just where all the values are located, right? Even though you don't know where this is, you um, know these are their distance from each, from each other. Okay? So, a couple of things that you can do first, right? So after you've gone through all these and you've looked at all the attributes, one thing you can do, let's put them all up on here, okay? is you can measure it. So I use this this measuring tool. I did it in miles just because I know those the, the best, but I would do it in the end, do it in uh, kilometers. So it's about 600 miles across, and then north to south is about 480. Okay, so it's a big area, right? It's an area that could cover several states or even several countries. Okay, so let's close this out. But I want you to write down those measurements, and you can keep them really in any any unit that you want. Um, just make sure that it's consistent throughout. Okay, so we did the measurement. Let's also check the 
projection make sure that it's projected here here we go coordinate system we have a coordinate system here and then we have a projection here and make sure these are in meters here so those are meters okay that's good right there so um, on, on all these here make sure that you you go through these here look at these values right you can hit change these a lot of different ways right but uh, the most important part of these values now these here are an outlier so what you can do is you can actually change these where you get this this 9999 uh, not as a part of this because it kind of messes it up a little bit okay so once again um, some of these may be changed for the class but uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know yours may not look the, the same as mine but just go through all these and just see first if you can figure any of it out of what they may be okay so um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some Krieging right here okay so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how to do this one time maybe twice and then I'm gonna let y'all do it on your own okay so a couple things first go to extensions make sure that your spatial analysis tool is is um, extension is checked that's good and then what we're, we're gonna do is go to toolbars and go to geo statistical analyst okay so I just took mine off there because I already had it on there but put it back on okay so that's right here and let's go to it right now so pull it down and you're gonna go to geo statistical data okay now right here what I want you to do is to go to geo statistical methods Krieging slash co Krieging now cool thing what you can do is we can go to all these points D point C all these right here and what we're going to be looking for is the value right so the value is right here points and then value so we're taking these points and we're going to creak it based on the values right there okay so next make sure the creaking type is um, ordinary and the output type is prediction okay and there's um, um something that may pop up and just make sure to hit include all if there's another screen that could pop up that didn't pop up here but um so ordinary prediction now you want to hit finish here because if you hit next sometimes it'll make it crash so go to finish it may take a second based on how many um points there are okay so this is going to give you all the information right here and then when you hit this here okay this is what we get right so this is what's cool is this shows you all of the points right here right so even though it, it doesn't have all these based on these points here it's gonna guess so so you can do this too sometimes I'm not sure why um, sometimes I like doing this I think this is helpful you can label these these features right and that can kind of help it can kind of show you this this grouping a little bit better right okay so these are the colors here you can also change the colors you go to properties symbology I think sometimes keeping it just in one spectrum helps a little bit more so that can help whatever you however you want to do that take these off here okay and then what you can do here is you can also look at this data in other ways too so you go to explore data semi variogram and just make sure that this is the attribute is value okay so um, what this can kind of show you sometimes is if um, there's a lot of correlation you may have on some of these here um, it, it may be a little bit bit more grouped okay so what we can do is there's a lot of things here we can look at this data you can explore the data and if there's groupings if there's some of Tobler's laws right there um, sometimes they're a little bit more visible okay so you can, can try a bunch of these here this one's keeps popping up over there but make sure the attribute is value right here okay so I don't like that one as much but if you go to some of these here um, and there's a, a correlation spatially um, what will happen is there'll be a, um, a, gr a grouping right there okay so those can help sometimes you can, you can use those in your analysis okay so I'm only going to do one of these for y'all the rest of these you can do on your own so um, I want you to make one of these prediction maps for each one um, you can do whatever color you like you know the size and um, you can also use Google as much as you'd like
to try and figure out what some of the, the values mean. Okay, so you can always open up these attribute tables, look in them, maybe Google some of them um, because the values could be anything. Okay, but um, take a look at these here. Feel free to ask me as many questions as you like to, uh, throughout the lab, but uh, what you're going to be doing is looking for some spatial autocorrelation um, through this creaking here. So, so you're going to make one of these creaking prediction maps for all these here, and you're going to try and figure out what each of these points mean, where it might be, and tell me a little bit about um, Tobler's law. Are they Tobler-like? Okay. Are they more similar? Um, the the ones closer to e to each other. Okay. So. Thank you for watching the Geographer's Craft, craft uh, blog. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I will see you all this week. Thank you.